it's time to build myself a smithy. The ugly shop is a good place to do some woodworking, but I wouldn't want sparks flying in there. It's quite a cramped area and the walls are wood. That's why I need to prepare a place for me to do some metal working. And the metal work I want to do, I want to do some blacksmithing, forging, and I want to do some welding at the welding table and some grinding and, and stuff. I want to be able to do it outside without being drenched in water when it's raining. I'm going to prepare a spot at the end of my lopsided barn. And since this is made of wood, I'm going to fireproof it with some leftover roof platings. And since I won't get enough height, some old clay roof tiles to fireproof the last and lowest bit of the wall. And I'm planning to put a slight leaning roof using some other roof plates to protect me from the rain. So I'm gonna spend these last few minutes of daylight this autumn evening and see if I get, can get the plating up on the wall. I want the roof plates to overlap in the seams and I want them to be as high as 230 from the ground which will leave a gap at the bottom which I will fill with the clay roof tiles Okay, I won't measure from the ground because that, that will annoy the hell out of me. I'm gonna make it leveled. darkness has come but I'll see if I can put this second plate up and actually get some some okay footage Okay, I'm done for the evening. It's really dark outside. We're entering the dark season in Sweden. The days will be shorter and shorter, but I do like the autumn. I like the air, the crisp. How it actually looks, we'll see tomorrow, but <laughs> the plates are more or less horizontal and nothing about the lopsided barn is horizontal. <laughs> so it looks, it might look a bit skewed more skewed than before but this is what it looks like in daylight it looks a bit weird it kind of looks like it's a carport and today we're gonna start working on the roof i'm gonna do some sort of a roof structure for it with some odds and ends
at the moment I'm not really happy with how this is going. That beam is leaning <laughs> badly and it's quite annoying. I might be able to excavate some dirt out of the way for the that beam and and then actually push it more straight. That is acceptable and a lot better. The beam in the middle is there. It was very poorly done, so I won't show it in detail. And I didn't manage to screw up the filming anyway, so... Okay, we're losing daylight. I'm gonna see if I can get the roof plates on before darkness descends. Such a magnificent autumn morning. Let's see what we can get done today. What I will do next is to add some structural rigidity by adding some wood pieces in corners. This is my plan for the bottom, to take these roof clay tiles and just stand them beneath the plate all along the way. My forge here, the anvil here, which would make the metal hot, and I would go here hammering with quite a nice view. And beside that I would have my welding table. As you can see, the area is quite uneven, so I'll have to try and shave some off, and then try to fill in some around where the anvil shall be placed. What a perfect day to have a roof! It's all dreary and drizzling down. Ah, then I'm in the photo.
This is the magnificent tree stump I'll use. It has been used to prepare firewood, but in the other end, uh, we found it on the farm when we moved here. I might dig a bit of a hole and put it in and see if that will add some support. The anvil is in place, the tree stump is not entirely set. I'm hoping that given time that it will be even more stable. Now you can rock it a bit, um, you can rock it a bit back and forth, but it's not much. So I don't think it would interfere with smithing. I have placed the anvil on top of it and it seems to be standing quite good. Now I need to look at some way to fasten it to the stump and uh, maybe I need to do some forging before I can do it properly. We'll see what I can find out. That was all for this video. If you liked it, thumbs up and all that.